So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. We have a very special guitar to share for the channel today. And as the title of this video suggests, yeah, everybody, I've always kind of just really hated the SG shape. However, this may be an exception. This thing is cool. What is this guitar exactly? Well, it is in fact a 2023 limited edition Gibson SG Standard Silver Burst with an ebony board. Before I start talking about this guitar, if you haven't done so, be sure to subscribe. What are you doing, man? You're totally missing out and messing up if you're not subscribed to this channel. In the words of Maximus, are you not entertained? I got you here now, didn't I? I really appreciate you in all seriousness. Thank you so much in advance for subscribing and you returning subscribers. What's up? How you doing? I could be better. The Eagles got their ass kicked by the Cowboys last night, but you know, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> All right, man, let's start talking about this guitar. So I first saw one of these guitars when I was on tour. I was in Santa Ana, California, getting ready to play at some Live Nation venue. I don't even remember where I was playing. I'll, maybe I'll look it up, doesn't matter, irrelevant. I had some time to kill, we had some time to kill before we went to the venue and we went to Guitar Center and I saw a Silver Burst SG hanging on the wall. And I thought it was like, you know, like an older version. Like there's a couple out there from like 2010 and you know, there's always just a Silver Burst, Silver Burst SG out there lurking, right? But then when I got home, I realized, nah, man, these are brand new for 2023. And if I'm not mistaken, they're a Guitar Center exclusive because like Musician's Friend doesn't have them. I haven't checked Sweetwater, but like I've only seen these at Guitar Centers. And f***ing A is this thing cool looking, dude. Silver Burst is the best finish of all time. Fight me about it. I don't care. But uh, yeah, man, it looks absolutely amazing on an SG. I'll continue to ramble and drool over this guitar in a second, but I haven't played it yet. Let's do a quick little jam and just some ignorant, heavy, just chugs and a breakdown and drop C sharp, all right? So stupid. <laughs> I don't know, dude. So this guitar, to the best of my knowledge, is more or less just like a run-of-the-mill SG standard, but obviously it has like some serious appointments, like the coolest finish of all time in an ebony board. And apart from that, you know, I'm not the biggest SG connoisseur, but I really don't think it's anything, other, you know, that different or that otherworldly. <laughs> And according to the Guitar Center website, we have a 490R and a 490T Al Nico 2 pickup set. So, you know, just some regular old Gibson pickups. But I will say, I don't know if it's this guitar or maybe, you know, the pickup height or whatever, but these pickups really don't have a ton of output, you know, obviously, because Gibson, you know, stock pickups aren't exactly catered towards my genre, which is totally fine. But, you know, for anybody who maybe want to pick up this guitar, just like be mindful of that in my experience and in my opinion, the pickups are pretty, uh, pretty like medium to medium though. Let's kind of address the title of this video. Something about the SG has always been so problematic and so hard for me to play. I come from the land of Les Pauls. Like I think Les Pauls are the guitar, the best guitar, like not even the Les Paul, like just like a mahogany full thickness single cut guitar from any company is the best guitar of all time. 
fight me in the comments. I don't care. Bring it. No, no, seriously. It's like, I just think that that is what a guitar is for me. But I will say like an SG just looks so cool, man. Like, you know, they look like arguably cooler than like a single cut, right? I mean, they look just mean and menacing, but they're so thin, dude, and so light in the body and so neck heavy. And the bridge is like scooted all the way up. So it feels like I'm playing like, like this. Like, I feel like I'm like violining it. You know what I mean? Like something about the, the, the ergonomics or lack thereof with this guitar just makes it like so weird to play. I can never really get like on board with an SG. And that's a damn shame because like I keep saying, man, they look so cool and you know, they're just like, ah, I just wish I could get behind it and play it, you know? <laughs> And now I'm being, you know, half serious, maybe two thirds serious, but there is a little bit of hyperbole in my voice. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. But in all seriousness, these guitars are a little bit, you know, difficult to kind of get used to. But once you do kind of get used to it, like I've been borrowing this from a friend for a couple days now. And when you do get used to it, what you get is a guitar that sounds pretty unique and different. It doesn't sound like a Les Paul. There's like a little bit of like clank and, and, and like high end and spikiness and piercingness. You guys hear me all the time say like the gnarliness and the clank, right? Like I'm a huge fan of that. Well, this guitar cuts and has a lot of bite and, you know, these buzzwords, attack, whatever you want to call it. Like SGs have more than say like most Les Pauls that I've played. And the only thing that's lacking compared again to say a Les Paul is it doesn't have as much low end and as much like oomph and just like bottom to the tone. And everything can of course be adjusted in post more or less, but, you know, just kind of in my experience and kind of just what I hear when I'm playing, it's like, it's really attacky, but not like big giant and full sounding, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially in a mixed context. <laughs> But overall, everybody, I'd love to hear from you longtime SG players. What do you guys think of like my opinions on how I feel like they're a little bit weird and hard to get behind? Am I way off? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe, I don't know. Just, I would love to hear like why some of you like an SG because apart from the visuals, to me, an SG has everything wrong going for it. Thin body, bridge canted to the left, neck dive, etc. But like I keep saying, man, damn, this guitar specifically looks really, really cool. <laughs> So that's my video on this SG Silver Burst Band. Yeah, dude, I always kind of hate the SG, but you know, <laughs> I'm a superficial dude, man. If it looks cool, I'll be like, all right, I'll play it. You know, I'll, I'll look past the imperfections, you know, uh, in terms of playing it or whatever. I don't know, man, I'm kind of rambling right now, just being a little bit of a goofball today, I guess. But all in all, everybody, again, I'll wrap up this video by saying this. If you want to subscribe, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I'd really sincerely appreciate it. I'm out of here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Later.